you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my youtube channel you guys in today's video i will be sharing a book haul i got all of these books you guys oh, let me see if i can <laughs> this is just one stack i have two stacks of books that i got from the thrift store so you guys let me go ahead and stop rambling i'm going to share with you guys all of the new books that i'm adding in my homeschool so you guys, uh, recently my mom has been dragging me to go to with her to like the thrift stores and it has become a thing. We have went to the thrift store three times and I have accumulated all of these like new books for all of my kiddos for summertime, for uh, I guess this upcoming school year, whatever books that I've seen that was interesting, I went ahead and grabbed them. So you guys, before I share with you guys all the books, I'm gonna tell you my grand total. So my grand total for all these books that we got from the thrift store was $25.48. And I cannot believe it. I really have been challenging myself this homeschooling year and just moving forward to uh, thrift, to shop used, and not always to rely on buying things brand new. Not only for uh, budgetary purposes, but just in general, I just wanna do my best um, in shopping used more often now. Uh, I have been finding so many deals. While I love utilizing my local library, it is something about having the physical book in your home when you need to do like your read alouds, when you're doing your readings and things like that. And you can really take your time and you don't feel like that extra pressure of having to remember to renew the book, to uh, make sure that you returned it in time, you don't have no library fees. <laughs> you guys already know the deal, especially if you you know are homeschooling families. So, um, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to share with you guys all the books. Now, this stack right here, the first stack I want to share with you guys is all of the books that my oldest picked out when we went to the thrift store. Um, and I only picked out a few. I picked out mainly the ones for my younger kiddos, and I picked out three chapter books that I've seen that I wanted her to read. So the first chapter book that I found was Sounder. This is Circle of Gold. And this is Number of the Stars. So those are the three like historical fiction books that I found that I want her to read. Other than that, the rest of this big stack right here is fun books that she's going to be reading over the summer and just to add to her collection. So she picked out this book right here called Sisters. This book is Keeping It Cool in Middle School. She picked out this book, which is a LOL doll collector's guide. So my, all of my kids love LOL dolls, but my oldest daughter in particular, she is co a collector, you guys. Like she knows all of their names and she has like this display on her bookcase where she's just like collects them. So it was really cool when she found this uh, collector's guide uh, for LOL dolls. So um, she loves using this one right here. So uh, when we were at the thrift store, we found a lot of the Babysitter Club's books. So uh, what is this? The Babysitter Club, Logan Likes Mary Ann, The Babysitter's Club, Christy and the Snobs, The Babysitter's Club, Boy Crazy Stacy, and I think that's it so far for The Babysitter's Club. This book right here is called Meg, Joe, Beth, and, and Amy. So any books that has like a whole bunch of friends my daughter loves so she picked out this one and this one actually is like a graphic novel this one is called dolphin summer this is emily windsnap and the castle in the mist so this is like a mermaid fantasy story and i think she found a lot in this series so here goes the other one emily snap and uh the serene secret so I guess these all go together. She found the series. And here is the Tales of Emily Winsnap. So here goes three books in that series she found. And again, each of these books right here were only 77 cents. Isn't that crazy? Um, here is another book called The Mousetrap. If you guys know, we went, we were on like the Lemonade War Fix where we read the first three in the series last summer. So when she found some more in the series, she was like, I have to grab it. So uh, this is called The Magic Trap. This one is Finally 12. This is Restart. Focused. And this one I thought was really, really cool. This is actually about a young girl 
who has recently been diagnosed with ADHD and she's really struggling in school and it just talks about her having to uh, work harder and um, I really really hope Brielle enjoys this book right here and um, I'm excited about it. Um, you guys I may make this be a read aloud where we read it together because I'm interested in seeing how this one goes but I heard great things about it. When I was in the thrift store I actually uh, looked it up and looked up the reviews to see how it was and a lot of people recommended this book and said it was a really good one. So uh, this one's called Focused. I found the, I think this is the first book of the Wings of Fire. So if my daughter enjoys this one, I will go ahead and grab her some more of the series. And then this is the last book that she picked. And I guess it's just called Star. It's from Disney Star Darlings uh, Collection. And I guess this is the first volume and it has like three books in one for this one. So this is her hefty stack that she picked out when we went to the thrift store and she's really excited. A lot of these books she already has planned the order. She's going to read them over the summer. So she's really, really excited about all of her books. Now, these ones right here are my younger two books. Some of the books they picked out, some of the books um, I picked out. I kind of just uh, let them kind of see whatever ones was interesting to them. So here is their stack. So Baby Girl, she picked out this book. You guys, they love these books. This is like the bear books. And this one is Bear Stays Up for Christmas. I think I already own like five of these bear books and they absolutely love them. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this with the rest of my Christmas books and pull it out uh, when it's Christmas time for them. I got some, uh, I guess, like readers for my rising first grader. Uh, hopefully she will be reading these uh, readers soon. These are like first and like second grade uh, readers that I've seen there. She picked out this one herself, which is called I Am a Supergirl. This is actually a grade one reader. I picked up Frog and Toad Our Friends. Um, I picked up a couple of the Biscuit books because I know a lot of people love Biscuit and hopefully she does too. Uh, she picked out this book, which is a Doc McStuffin reader. And then I picked out some like nonfiction readers and this one was about tigers. I got Mo and his friends. And then of course my um, middle daughter, she actually picked out PJ Mask. I thought this was cute. And then uh, PJ Masks and of course, Paw Patrol Reader she picked out. This one has a curation of more than one story in it. So these are just some readers that um, hopefully it will inspire her as we do like our independent reading. Uh, she kind of will get uh, inspired to pick these up and we can read them together, um, especially as her reading level is getting higher and higher. So I'm excited about that. Now you guys, I scored really, really big when we went to the thrift store because I found a lot of math picture books. Uh, in particular, some that goes along with our math with confidence. So I was really, really excited. So this book right here is called What Comes in Twos, Threes, and Fours. This is actual size. This book actually, um, we read it in Kindergarten Math with Confidence with my uh, middle daughter. And I'm like, oh yes, I already have it. And she actually really, really loved this. This actually is pictures of the actual sizes of the animals. Um, and we read like little facts about each of the animals and she really, really enjoyed this one. Like this right here is an actual size of the picture of a Goliath frog. So uh, this book was really, really fun to read. I have uh, What Time Is It Mr. Crocodile? And we read this one in Kindergarten Math with Confidence uh, when we were going over time with my middle daughter. She absolutely loved this one. And I like the rhyme and repetition in this one. So I'm so happy that I actually have it on my shelf. We can read it more than once. I found this book is called Math for All Seasons. And I don't know if this is one of the Math with Confidence books, but I was like, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. This is another one. This one's called Net Numbers. And it's a South Carolina numbering book. And I thought it was so cute. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. Then I found some science books. So this science book is called What's the Matter? So I like that one. And then here goes another little science book that I grabbed and it's about the weather. So the rest of these books are just some picture books that I found that looked interesting and I thought the kids would enjoy. I bought this book, it's called Over the Meadow. 
This is Flower Garden, and it was so cute when I found this book, Flower Garden, because, you know, it's springtime. We already read this one, and they really, really enjoyed it. It was really, really cute about a young girl uh, in the inner city, and she actually was uh, filling up their flower box for her mom's new garden for her birthday, and it was really, really cute. So I love this book so far. So that's what this one's called. My middle daughter picked up this book. This is just like a Nickelodeon pop star makeover book. So I think she just thought it was cool. So anything that gets them interested in sitting down to do like our one-on-one -on -one reading time, I really don't care what they pick, you guys. I found this cute Usborne book, brand new about farm animals and I was like yes I can't believe that was there and this book was again 77 cents and this is a non-fiction book about uh different facts about the farm animals and I was like this is so cute this will be great especially in the fall time we can read this book go to a little farm and they will really really enjoy this my younger two uh my middle daughter picked out this book and it says why a daughter needs her mom oh, I thought that was so cute I found this book and I thought this was really, really appropriate for election year. And this is called Grace for President, especially in getting my younger two incorporated this upcoming homeschool year. I figured that this would be an age appropriate uh, book to read to them. This one is called The Quickest Kid in Cartersville. I found a book um, on like nouns and verbs and um, while I know my middle daughter is not yet there yet as far as grammar, when we do get there as far as grammar, I think this will be a great book to pull out and it's called Noun and Verbs Are Having a Field Trip. And this one just looked really, really cool. So I can't wait to dig into this one. I found this book right here. We checked this one out from the library. My kiddos loved it. So now we have a copy of our own. It's called Mary Had a Little Lab. This is, this book is called Morpheus, Morf Morpheus, Beautiful Daughters, Morpheus, Beautiful Daughters, an African tale. I think I probably pronounced that wrong, but I was really excited when I seen this book. So um, we are actually doing a lot of like um, African folk tales that I'm going to be reading with my younger two this upcoming homeschool year. So when I found this one, I was like, yes, here we go. Here goes some more tales I can read to them. This is Anansi uh, Does the Impossible. These are really, really fun stories uh, about Anansi the spider. He gets up to like no good. And the kiddos really, really love these. And these are great African-American folk tales. I found this book right here on Dr. Martin Luther King, and I figured that this would be a great book to add to my collection, especially during uh, Black History Month, Martin Luther King Day. Um, I love always having great picture books to read to my kiddos, especially age appropriate ones. So I grabbed this one. It was only 77 cents as well. My mom found this book when we was at the thrift store, and I was like, yes, I have to grab it. This one's called Aunt, F Aunt Flossie's Hats and Crab Lakes Later, or Crab Cakes Later. And I thought this was just a cute book. So I can't wait to read this one with my kiddos. I never read this book before, so hopefully it's a good one. And the last book that my middle daughter picked out was The Princess and the Frog. Of course, you guys, I have to let them have a say in some of these books. But these are all of the books that I got from the thrift store. Again, I only spent $25.48. I am definitely going to continue to go to the thrift store to buy uh, books. Um, I'm going to definitely continue to let my mom drag me out because she definitely was the one to initiate us beginning to go to the thrift store and finding more books. This really has saved us a lot of bucks in our homeschool um, buying used and I'm going to continue to buy books from our local thrift store. If you love these hauls and you want to see more as we continue to go to the thrift store and find good goodies, I definitely will share them with you guys here on this channel um as always you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye